Hello everybody, welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel and today I'm going to be talking about the events category. So when you press the create button, you'll see this scale, like I don't know how to call this, it says motion at first, but then you see all these little dots that say motion, look, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and my blocks. So first, today I'm going to be teaching you about the events blocks, which that are usually used first um, before making any other code from these other categories. So for an events block, you can use when green flag clicked, when space key pressed, when this sprite clicked, when backdrop switches to, when loudness is greater than 10, when I receive message 1, broadcast message 1, broadcast message 1, and wait. So first let me tell you about the when green flag clicked block. So when green flag clicked, if you do an animation, you have to use this block, and then if you press this green flag over here, the animation will happen to whatever sprites you have or whatever backdrops you have. So what I'm going to be talking about is the events category so i'm just going to be talking about mostly these and i'm going to be make showing you how to make a project with them so then when space key pressed is not just space key it's other keys you can use like there's a b c d there are lots of keys like here so when you press a key something happens instead of pressing the green flag so right now i have space because, so if I press the space bar, something will happen. When this sprite clicked is when you press the sprite that's right in front of you, like this cat, for, an, for example. Then something will happen after all this code. When you use this code, one of these code, or like some make some code or animation out of these, you can use the when this sprite clicked block because if you press the sprite something will happen when backdrop switches to backdrop one can only um have this backdrop one if you don't change the background because you can make backgrounds here like you can just um draw you can make stuff in it and um, this is basically white, but you can add some more to the backdrop to make it more cool, to make this um, background more pop instead of just plain white background. And this is the scratch cat right in the middle of it at zero X and zero Y. So I'll be telling you about X and Y and motion in one of my other videos. I mean, the ones later. So, next, we have when loudness is greater than 10. So, if you're in the sensing, I'm talking a little bit of the, about the sensing here. So, there is this thing where it can turn on your video and stuff, and you can see your face um, in the project over here. Like, you can make a catching game, like, when your hand touches the sprite, it makes something happen. So if you're really loud, something might happen. If loudness is greater than 10. If it's greater than 10, then that means something will happen. And then you can put the code under it. So these are called head blocks. Head blocks are supposed to be starting the project. Like, whatever you start, if you want it to start at one of these events blocks, you got to put a head block over here and then put code under it to make something happen. So then we have when I receive message one and broadcast messages. So broadcast messages are, is like messages that it's like, for example, you know how you bring you send messages to people that are far away to you. You send messages. So just like that, you can use the broadcast message block to send messages to other sprites, or if you can use this from the backdrop. So, for example, if I use this broadcast message block after some code, then put it on another sprite. And then when I name, you can also name it 
when you press new message, you can name a broadcast message. And then, and that sprite, when you want it to, when I receive message one or something else or whatever broadcast message you put, when I receive that message, then that means you can do some code. So isn't that very interesting? So anyways, um, I explained lots about the, um, I did a, pro a whole project about the broadcast message in one of my videos, so make sure you check that out. So anyways, let's make a project with these events blocks. So first, I'm going to start with when green flag clicked, because when the green flag is clicked, I want something to happen. Maybe the cat says hi. So the cat is saying hi now, but maybe we want it to do something, like spin around or make it go to random places. So I'm going to do when green flag clicked, when green flag clicked, go to the position that is currently on, say hello for two seconds, or you can make it increase it to three, maybe, and then glide one sex to random position. Sex is just seconds. So um, we want this number to increase if you want it to glide for a longer time. So I'm going to make this two for now. But how many times do I have to do it? Repeat ten. And then my next video i'm going to be showing you about the control category which is basically having having loops so these are all loops they can loop so so this is a loop that i'm using right now it's called repeat 10. repeat 10 means it's going to repeat the same thing that's inside it multiple times so anyways once we've done that let's see how the project turned out it says hello, then it goes to a random position 10 times. So anyways, that was a simple animation and a tutorial of how to use the events category if you're beginners. So thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next Amazing Learn Sketch video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and... I can't wait to, for the next video. Bye, guys.